Hey, happy Friday. I hope y'all have had a great week. I just wanted to come on and do a little life update. We've had some changes in our family that will be affecting my channel. Um, number one, I've kind of touched on this a little bit in voiceovers for some of my food videos, but my partner was recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, we just, we were making some bad choices there for a while with food. I think that a lot of people kind of fall into that habit. Um, just eating, you know, too much fast food. And he also was really big on like sugary drinks. He drank a lot of soda. He drank a lot of iced teas, juices, things like that. Everything is just so full of sugar these days. It's insane. Look at the sugar content on some of the stuff that you eat because honestly, I had not, that's not something I was paying attention to. I, before having a child, I was always a smaller person. And then after becoming pregnant, you know, in my 30s, I ate um, pretty terribly and then just continued to eat terribly and make bad decisions. I think that a lot of people kind of fall into that. It's easy. You know, it's quick and easy to go to McDonald's and to go to Burger King or uh, not Burger King, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Fast food in general. And to eat the processed shit, the quick microwave shit. You know what I mean? Um, and so it caught up with us a little bit and he's lucky that he caught it before it got too bad. He is able to manage without insulin. He's just medication and eating a little better. But then some of my food videos will be reflecting that, you know, we'll be making things a little bit healthier, a little bit more whole, clean ingredients, which is going to be great for us. And if you're interested, please stick around for some of those. I do already have a couple of lower carb pizza recipes posted, um, mainly like low carb tortilla pizzas. And I don't know if I've posted, if I haven't, I'm going to have to record. I've been doing like a mushroom pizza where I make a pizza inside of like a portobello mushroom. So honestly, that's really delicious. Um, so yeah, so that's going to, you know, the frozen pizza Fridays are going to be kind of gone. Uh, I did get like a better good ones when he was out of town. And I, that's the one that I posted recently. And I will also be trying to find better versions of frozen pizza because we are still very busy people you know like like anyone else there's a lot going on um so I that's why I also haven't been doing long form videos I said I was going to do more long form videos and it's just been Disney rides so I will still be posting the Disney rides I am still going to Disney um we are homeschooling our five-year-old so that takes up a big chunk of time but disney is also very helpful for that there's a lot of education there especially at epcot and animal kingdom honestly you can find educational materials anywhere in disney but epcot and animal kingdom are just a treasure trove of edutainment they call it right um and i will be posting some of the things that we do for his homeschooling um i do strongly believe that children are not content your kids aren't your content so I'm not going to be posting a lot about him personally, but when I do find things that I feel like could be helpful to others, um, I will be posting that. And if anyone's interested on a longer video talking about homeschooling in Florida, I would be more than willing to talk about that. It is something that I have always been a fan of. Even before I planned on having a child, I thought that homeschooling was a great idea. I grew up here in Florida and I know that the public school system is terrible. And honestly, a lot of these private schools are not much better. I went to a Christian school in third grade and I didn't do anything except for memorize Bible verses. I mean, it was a super good time because like there was eight kids in the class. So, you know, like our Taco Tuesday was from Taco Bell. So like that was cool or whatever. But um, the education down here is not fantastic. I'm fortunate enough that I like to read. So I was able to learn more than the school system was willing to teach on my own. And that's what we're hoping to instill in our son, a love of reading, help him educate himself and learn how to do that. There are some great resources out there, especially at the local libraries. And again, I can talk more on that if anyone's interested. Um, and even if you're not, I might do it anyway. But in another video, I'm just going to keep this moving with what I said it was going to be. Um, so then another update. I also, so one of the reasons that I haven't had so much time for these long form videos is because we're also, I have my podcast going. I don't think that I've made a video talking about that on here yet. It does have its own channel. It's parking lot chat stop podcast. And that is my best friend, Bo and I, we mainly talk about Disney pop culture. Um, we're very pro woman. So it's a lot of like girl power kind of stuff. And it's, it's been a lot of fun, but that is another thing that I'm doing, right? And then I'm also trying to keep up with my writing. I've mentioned um, a children's book that I wrote on here before, Santa and the Holiday Spirit. And then I did also just write a novella on Amazon Kindle Vella called Murder Park, if you're interested in any of that. 
Uh, you can search my name on Kind or on Amazon. It's Karina C O R E N A Ferris F is in Frank E R R I S like Ferris wheel. I don't know how good Murder Park is. Honestly, it's my first long. It's the longest thing I've written, and it was kind of rushed. I did try, but I feel like also sometimes you got to get things out there and then become better as you progress. So. I think that it's fun. I liked writing it. I enjoyed some, there's some crazy plot twists in there. Um, and I will have some other stuff coming out. Um, I'll be working on it. So if you want to keep an eye out for that. And then I, I do have some other like ideas for long form videos in my head. It's just hard again to get to them. Um, you know, there's a, it's a lot. I know I just, I feel like I just keep repeating that, but it is. And I'm, I feel like anyone else can agree with that, right? Like this has to be you can relate, right? Like, I'm sure everybody's so busy. It feels like there's just, you got to be go, go, go. Keep up with this. Keep up with that. Like, how are we supposed to live, breathe a little, right? How can I go through closets and rearrange clothes and get rid of the size threes that are in my kid's closet when I got a million things to do? Um, so that was a random rant that I didn't mean to take, but I'm going to try to get better with the long form videos. I do have some plans. I do want to do a little video about the traffic down here. I don't know if y'all have noticed if you're in the South Florida area, but things are just getting crazier and crazier and worse and worse every day with the traffic. It's out of control. Not going to bore you with that here. Again, I'm trying to stay on my topics. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on, say hey, thank you for being here. Thank you for continuing to support my channel. I really do appreciate it. I will try to keep up with things to do for kids. I will be keeping up with Disney. I will be trying to add some more recipes as I find them that are clean but still fun and easy. Quick and easy is really what I'm going for. So also, if you know any quick, easy, low-carb, clean eating kind of recipes throw my way please um and I guess that's it for now but thank you so much and have a great weekend and again thank you for supporting and being here really it means the world to me thank you